This is the highlands of Ethiopia, and we're driving west. This land has great potential for the use of vetiver grass for soil and water conservation. Everything is very dry during the dry season. We are on our way to a farm in Anno where vetiver grass has been very successful for recharging groundwater. Before proceeding, I'd give a little background about vetiver grass. In this image, we have a three meter root depth from a plant in Thailand. In this image, we have a two meter uh, root at about two years old from China. Very massive root system which binds the soil together. In this image, you see a cross section through two hedges. The dark line just below the surface of the soil is the original uh, organic matter. And as you approach the hedges, you see that the sediment has been dropped behind the hedgerow and natural terraces develop. Vetiver grass has the ability to climb up and grow up the terrace as sediment is deposited behind the hedge. And as you can see in this image, new shoots and roots develop as at higher up in the plant as the um, sediment is place behind the hedgerow. Here you see a linear section through a bed of a hedgerow. It's a massive root structure and acts as a subsurface barrier and a, penetrates deep in the soil to allow water to get down into the groundwater. Here, as often is the case in uh, Ethiopia, Bedaba has come down uh, to a hard pan and then the roots go through the hard pan and allowing better infiltration. This is a unique characteristic of vetiver. There are 250 kilometers of vetiver hedgerow over this, uh, on this 500 hectare farm. These hedgerows are doing a fantastic job stopping erosion and conserving a large amount of runoff which goes down into a gullied area below. I would like to introduce you to Atto Gedissa, the farm manager of Anno Farms. He is going to tell us how he planted vetiver, <coughs> what the impact was both on his farm crops and his uh, on the water table. So what did you do? First, we, when we took this land, it was completely abandoned, no trees, no shrubs, nothing was there. Then, after we take over, two years later, we brought these vertebral uh, seedlings mm -hmm. and the plant, as you have seen, it's such long distance. Then, two years later, after plantation, this small spring starts to spark from different angles. Mm -hmm. Now you see it from different places, not only about four places. This, what do your neighbors think of this? Every year or every two years we demonstrate field days yeah. for farmers and officials and researchers. Mm. So they have seen it. This is all you have seen these seats. Mm. They sit here and they, we open this question what must have to be done to save the natural resource of this country. How to upgrade the yield per hectare? How to fight against the poverty and so on? So, for the alleviation of poverty, the only remedy is just to have such plant to use irrigation system and uh, to develop new ideas with a new innovation. Are there any alternatives to vetiver? Can you think of a better way than vetiver grass? Uh, really, I have tried so many of, um, ways, yeah. like using animal, uh, using animal dogs, using green manuring and others. But if it would be within the collaboration of vertebral grass, it will be more effective and high yield. Because if we use other alternate, the run of never stop. Mm. But if the fertility of the soil increased in 
one way or another, if there is heavy rain on the sloppy areas like this land, it will be washed off and taken off and destroy the top soil, no more yield. Mm. So doing other alternative is just coming back again and again, yeah. again and again. There's something okay. to repeal. But you, the, this new flow of water is 100% associated with the bed of a hedge, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay. Well, that's great. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. This flow of water, is it a constant flow like this throughout the year? Yes, this is a dry time even. Yeah. Even at the rainy season, it is more yeah. and highly. Yeah. This is what it accumulates on the previous months. Yeah. This is a dry time now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's completely drinkable, I oh. guess. Fresh, lovely, is it? More than the mineral water we purchased an hour before. I am sure, yes. Yeah. I'm absolutely yeah. certain of that. You need a oh. Yeah, on the bank of this stream, just above the above the outflow, you can see the the groundwater is actually running out on the bank. As we are about to summarise the effect of the bed of a hedgerows on the groundwater, two small children come along to fill up their water jugs. This is the cleanest water in the area, and anybody in the community can use this water. In summary. The bed of a hedgerows have stopped erosion by nearly 100%, have reduced runoff by at least 70%, and the groundwater has been recharged. This is something we could do across Ethiopia and most of Africa if bed of systems were systematically applied to the benefit of increased crop production and improved groundwater. It is easy. All that is needed yeah. is the will to do it. Let's ask him. Ask him. Ask this guy to come in.